clean the bone. Maybe switch it up today. Oh my goodness, Rudy turns one today, eh? Rudy turned one, idiot, idiot, you good girl, eh? you good girl, didn't ask for my face washed, I said are you good girl, <laughs> good girl. This one's cleaned up. We'll put her back away for another day. Couple bones. Where's she going, nerds? Sissy getting picked up. See you later. Got a barbecue to go pick up this morning. Do we ever? And yeah, it's Rudy's birthday today, so we should probably go to PetSmart and get her a little doggy birthday cookie type shit. Got the seat out. I never even realized they fucking have wheels on them. So it's a lot easier now to realize that. I just pull it out, fit right between the cars, just fucking wheeled it. Right over, set it right there. Doesn't turn, but as long as you're pushing it straight, it's nice, nice. Whew, bear. So yeah, we'll pick the barbecue up. It can go in the back of the van. And then a uh, couple things I wanna see about getting there. In Rust, we trust. Gotta trust in your good old Rust. In rust, we trust. Get you from where you fucking, where you were and where you need to go. From your point A to your point B. Get your point C in the middle and then back to your fucking point A. Fucking mint. Playing musical vehicles like really. Moving some cars around now that it's on his mom's home for couple days probably won't really be going anywhere and uh, yeah I'll put the jeep at the end so it's not such a pain that it's getting me all the time
Holy. Foggy right out that shover. Nice tow mirrors on there. Fuck yeah. Are you ready to go, Rex? It's her birthday, so I figure we'll bring her for a car ride. SJ and Carly are catching the bus. What are you doing? We're going to talk to back there. There's no seat for you, right? Just wandering around, looking out the window. Oh my goodness. Oh, Rudy loves car rides. She's just so curious. Like, where the fuck are we going now? What are we doing? Yeah, we got barbecue to pick up. So I figure we'll uh, take the van, save some gas money since it's just a singular item and uh yeah we'll go i want to go to canadian tire i still got like 80 bucks in canadian tire points or cash or whatever the fuck you want to call it canadian tire money and uh there's this fucking stud finder i've been eyeing up for a while it's cool looking and uh mine sort of shit the bed a while ago so it's always good to have a stud finder handy little tool to have and this one's pretty fucking handy looking. It shows you like both sides of the stud where exactly it is and both sides of it. So you're not just sort of guessing where the middle of it is or whatever. So that's sort of cool. But yeah. And then uh, I think Rudy's gonna want a birthday cookie. So we'll go get her one. It's not bad out, it's, I don't know, like, minus two, minus three, high of plus four or something like that. But it's still not as nice as it was this weekend. The weekend was fucking beauty. Beautiful. Rudy's impressed about uh, no bench back there. It's normally where she likes to sit. I tried to get her up front, but she just uh, she wasn't feeling it. Take my seat away. Now you need to put me back here with a fucking barbecue. She had the option for front seat. She just turned it down. Good old crappy tire. Yeah, see, I had one like this. This is what I'm getting. 
shows you right where the stud is. It's got a level on it, which is cool. And yeah. And I technically don't have to pay for it because I got like 90 bucks, Canadian Tire money, something like that. And it's 70 bucks plus some tax, 75 bucks, 80 max. So, yeah, there you go. Moving up in the world. Look at this dirty Dodge. 3500 Cummins Turbo Diesel. Fuck yeah. It's a nice truck. Is it ever? So yeah, the more I look at this, the more I'm like blown away actually. Really good purchase. It's got a live wire meter so you know if you're gonna fucking run into a wire on the stud. Reads wood and metal, high accuracy, deep scan always on, level on it. It's got a little fucking spot for a pencil in there. Yeah, like fucking nifty. Does a whole bunch of shit. Oh, I locked it. Didn't want anyone stealing the birthday grill. Yeah, that was nifty, and I still got like nine bucks or something like that. Canadian Tire credits. So that's cool. I'd have to stop in at Giant Tiger while we're right here and see if they got any deals on or anything. Giant Tiger is normally a good spot to go for stuff. I think we will park over at the snowbank. Then no one scratches our van. I always like to park away from other people when you're driving nice vehicles because they'll just fucking ding your shit man it's like fuck i pay a lot to drive this fucking thing i don't want my shit dinged like it's a nice fucking vehicle barely any rust like low kilometers like i don't want my shit fucking marked up I'm gonna get her a new collar too. New collar and tag, new toy. Fits her perfectly. Oh my goodness, she's not happy. When we get home, we'll give you some of this uh, birthday cookie, eh? What do you think of that? It's like, or you can give me a piece of it now. I suppose we could, eh? Hey, Roots, you want a piece of your birthday cookie? Oh my goodness. Let's see if I can do her one handed here. Oh, almost there. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Hey, Rhodes. Thank you. I'll see about that. Are you not going to eat your birthday cookie? Rhodes, what the fuck? It's an expensive cookie. You eat that fucking thing. I'll eat it. I'll take a big old bite. Hmm. You don't like it. It's not the reaction I was hoping for, Rich. I think they're pretty good. So bad? I don't know actually. You got like a apple-y sort of aftertaste. Cinnamony. Good. Very good. Back on 401. Yesterday they had a friggin' um ride program hopping on the four or no, sorry, getting off the 401 at the big apple exit there by my place. Yeah, they had two cruisers stopping people as they were getting off to 401, checking them out, making sure no one's drunk or fucking half stoned. 
dirty. We'll get you, and it's like, fuck, where do you turn around? Where do you, you don't, you got nowhere to go. You're just fucking stuck. Oh, fuck. By hopping right out into fucking construction. I was on the walkie-talkie, and I was asking people how fucking 401 Westbound was looking, and I don't know, everyone said, the response is like, oh, I said it's fine, not a problem. Now I can see in fucking construction. Coming through Trenton here, fuck, I was just on the phone with some Richard guy from Omimi. Think I might have an insulation job to do in his attic. He needs some insulation added on to his pre-existing insulation. I guess it's getting a little chilly. Or his furnace is working overtime, so. And he wants to see about getting some insulation put in there. And I was like, you got the insulation in there? My guys, we'll come to 400 bucks. Not a problem, we'll come insulate your whole attic. Fuck, we're not looking for arms and legs around here, people. As long as you got some fucking gas money and you know, at least a hundred bucks in my pocket, a hundred bucks in everyone else's pocket, like, what else can you ask for? Fucking mint. Trenton. Fuck this sign, I saw them putting this up a few days ago. It's a big fucking business advertisement thing. We were coming down here last night on our way home from Kingston and at nighttime, holy fuck, that thing is fucking bright. She's a bright cunt, I tell ya. Need a fucking brappy fucking ad right up there. Fucking brappy, man. Turned out to be a sunny day. Let's put the barbecue over by the scrap trailer. Now, uh, move the van. And then we'll get truck and trailer ready to go. Gotta pick up some garage doors or something like that. More scrap. 12.07. Yeah, another beauty day. Leave the van on the road for a bit. And we will hit the road. Ooh. Fuck. Seat's a little forward as it ever. <laughs> hey hey i love rudy's new collar nice and bright rudy looks good in yellow yeah i thought it was a whole garage door but just a garage door opener but that's what everyone picked her up customers happy we've known him for a bit now you uh he's got some other work for us coming up here in the near future which is cool So if you're wondering why I was draining the or fucking running the skidoo there, we uh, siphoned pretty much 99% of the gas out of the gas tank. And then I put some carb clean in there and some gas line antifreeze. And then I let it run for a few minutes, running all that shit through it. So it's pretty much out of gas, and then it's got the stabilizers and shit in it. So it's not gonna get all fucking condensated and all shitty and make my carburetor all full of crap. So now it's uh, basically ready to go. I can, whenever I have a chance, I'll take it to the storage unit, put it away for the season. 
And maybe bring the three-wheeler home? I don't know. But I do know something. Time for some lunch. Couple fries, piece of chicken, ham and cheese. That's cool. Buddy that bought the mud mower off me. I got him I got him on Snapchat there. And uh he showed me he got the old starter out and it was just right fucking seized. Right stuck. So I was right, I needed a starter. And then uh today he's buying a new starter, just sent me the receipt, cost him like 180 bucks or something like that. Brand new starter for it. So hopefully later today or tomorrow here soon I'll be getting some videos my way of it running and I'm pretty sure on Wednesday he's coming to work with us so we'll probably even see it right on the YouTube ourselves fucking hopefully he's got it running if he does Rudy I'm taking her for a rip are you seriously eating my coffee table right now it's your birthday but um no need to eat the coffee table where's your toy Jesus Christ where's your toy Holy dine. Holy diver, as someone else thought I was fucking saying. Are you a holy diver? No. Holy dine. There we go. Gonna sit down, have myself a nice little lunch. Oh shit, lunch was good. Just washed up my dishes and everything. Tummy's nice and full now, is it ever? Nice and full. You think you can get it? Yeah, it's time to get it. That exhaust is right in the fucking way. Just put this garage door opener up online for a hundred bucks cash or best offer. Yeah, and the guy said like it works not a problem. I got everything to come with it. Four remotes, all the sensors, the whole kit and caboodle. Um, the only reason he switched out his garage door opener is because he wanted to build a loft above. So he got went with a different style of door opener or whatever that doesn't take up uh, so much ceiling space. So yeah, like, fuck, figure before signing it to the scrapyard, if everyone, or anyone, not everyone, because it only goes to one person, but if anyone wants a cheap garage door opener, fuck, 100 bucks, your best offer, I'd take 50 bucks cash all day long if you come pick it up. Yeah, I posted the cast iron tub today, too, and then the brass fittings and stuff. Got the snow plow off the lawnmower, gave it a boost, got it running, not a problem. And I parked it up in here where the mud mower was. Just get it out of the way and everything. Then I'll honestly, I'll probably just use this as a parking spot. I was gonna back it in, but then my tires were spinning, so I was like, all right, not a problem. Went, spun it around and fucking fast you can, right up into here, mint. Oh, ta -ta 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 -ta. Screw's basically ready to go. Oh, trying to get a whole bunch of little things done around here that it's just been needing to get done to. I got these tires. I don't know, I was sort of thinking it'd be nice. Try to mount them on this fucking trailer. Then I can have a proper trailer behind the lawnmower. Rather than that fucking little fucking contraption over there. Clean it up. 
I mean, I'll put one of those lights over there. Still got to give it a bit of a clean the board. Just Lysol wipe it. It's a bit dirty. Oh yeah. Cheers. Cheer out. I was sort of hoping the transmission will be all right on this one, because maybe I'll just do a motor swap for another one. Yeah. Nice little fucking scrap runs. At least this one's got a ball hitch on it. Well, maybe take that nice flat down. tires. I don't know, we'll have to grab up the other mower and then see this mower and yeah, probably just like motor swap it. What, the tires? No, the ball hitch. It's mm. soft. Oh no, that's I fine. I was thinking maybe... Off we go. Rusty mower. Yeah, I'd like to get that one going. That'd be alright. If the transmission seems alright on it, that's uh, probably what we'll do. Just motor swap it. Fuck, just look at her. Fucking mean looking. I don't know what's up with mean fucking lawnmowers, man. Fuck. Just got rid of one. Got another fucking lawnmower now. But I mean, it's not like I went out of my way to buy it, really. I just sort of, you know, telling the customer I do scrap, pick up and shit. And then I was like, hey, fucking take the lawnmower too. Yeah, fuck, his dad seemed to like his scrap shit more than the lawnmower. He's like, yeah, you can only have one of the barbecues. Dad's got plans with that. You can't have the water tank. Dad has plans with that. Dad just had plans with everything for the most part. But at least uh, he was willing to give me that fucking lawnmower. Which is awesome as fuck. Transmission seems to be in good shape on it. We were just sort of going over it quickly. And the motor's not seasoned, it's got oil, so I mean, like, fuck. I don't know, I was thinking about doing a motor swap, but, like, do I just try to get it running just for the sake of saying, hey, we got this old mower running that's been fucking sitting in the bushes for God knows how long. Time for dinner, folks. See y'all tomorrow.